Peace, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I am getting ready to bring you an Aquarius reading. So if your sun, moon, or rising is an Aquarius, welcome to my channel. If you are an Aquarius lover, how are you doing? All right. Now, flip the rose as you see fit, okay? You know who plays what in your story. I don't. I'm just reading the energy. I don't know if you're masculine. I don't know if you're feminine. I need you to be in a positive mindset here as I'm doing this reading. I'm going to set my intentions because I need us to be energetically aligned and we need protection as we go through the spiritual realm to communicate with my spirit guides, okay? Now, y'all, everybody's on a different timeline so you take what you need out of this reading okay use the spirit of discernment all right honeys if you want um uh your own personal story you need to get a personal reading i do have my website link in the detail box below so right where the topic or the caption is um, of this video click that arrow and it'll take you directly to that link all right now Y'all, I'm going to set my intentions now so I can just jump right on in. If you feel in my vibe, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this collective reading for Aquarius. I ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and to close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings. Thank you so much for using me as a messenger and protecting me as well from any psychic attacks, any negative energies, or any spell work being projected towards me. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly for Aquarius today. And so it is. Thank you, my spirit guides. What is the general energy for Aquarius? What is it that they need to know? Disruption. Okay, because my whole thing just fell over. Why disruption? Okay, what's happening here in your life, Aquarius? Here? What is, is it something messy? I need to see what's happening here. Thank you, my spirit guides. What is it? Thank you indecision okay so you were indecisive about something with this card here in the reverse position okay so whatever it is right it was self-doubt that was keeping you stuck all right and it probably was draining you you made a decision about something here let's see what this is about thank you tell me what this is about first show me what i need to see show me what i need to see Pretty much Aquarius, you're pretty clear here about your clarity of thought when it comes to something here, especially expanding your perspective towards your situation. Okay, so something happened that may have caused you some heartbreak um, previously before, but now you're healing from that heartbreak with this in the reverse. You may have even reconciled with someone. Now, the problem is, is that this patience card here. Um, it's in a reverse position. Okay, so Spirit is saying here to like really just open up to some options that are available to you and, it, you know, initiate some type of action here when it comes to this situation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my tarot because I need to see what's going on to get a full story for you, Aquarius. All right, so thank you, my Spirit guys. Show me what I need to see in regards to this. What's, what is this speaking of here? Why is Aquarius impatient about this? Ace of Wands in the reverse position. Okay, so there's some delays. Wow. Okay, what are these delays about? You're trying to find the inspiration here to speak on this vision. I'm 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 feeling. All right, so thank you. Tell me what these delays about. What is this ace of wands about in the reverse position? Seven of Wands in the reverse position. Okay, so you may have, um, well, before you were being very protective here and you were standing your ground with something, now you're just not. It's almost as if you're feeling defeated or you gave up on something, right? Now, um, with the World card and the Six of Wands together that came out, something has come full circle. You pretty much are at, the, at this point where you're completed with a certain cycle here. Um, you're definitely trying to achieve some things for yourself, but something is coming full circle because you're not getting the recognition that you desire. All right. So you may feel like there's either a lack of support here um, or you're feeling unloved or unwelcomed or something here where you're not getting the recognition. Okay. You're still not getting it. Thank you. Now, I'm going to flip those again. I had four cards that came out, but I, I don't know which way they landed because of the way I grabbed them. So give me a second, y'all. Thank you. All right. So with the eight of pentacles in a reverse, someone is neglecting 
to put some type of effort into your situation, whether it's a relationship, whether it's work, but it's almost as if it's still a lack of quality here. You're still not satisfied, okay? For the most part is what I'm hearing. You're not satisfied because someone isn't working here to... Um, or focusing on trying to achieve this. And this has a lot to do with someone you're dealing with um, from your past, or you may have reconnected with someone from the past, okay? And you may be even memor memorizing the times that y'all, you guys did have fun together or, you know, whatever those happy memories were, you may even be still holding on to those, okay? Now, you have healed from the past, um, for the most part, with this situation. It, it has created a lot of hurt, and I'm also picking up here that it's some childhood trauma, too, that could be associated with some of this hurt that you um, have been experiencing, right? Now, um, and what came to me just now was some of you, it may be dealing with a uh, father figure, or something that happened with your father or something here that's coming to me okay now and it's something here you're still carrying on and it has a lot to do you know also with a family dynamic so this could be someone here that you have a family with and i really feel like you're passionate about family something here involving um your happiness is a centered around family, okay? Now, with the Seven of Swords, someone was being very deceptive here, maybe lying, maybe trying to get away with something, but it's in the reverse. So someone confessed something or you're confessing something. However, this goes, right? The truth is being revealed here. Someone definitely feels a little uh, emotional or something when it comes to this, okay? Now, what is this truth about, Spirit? What's been revealed? What is this confession about? Okay, now with the two of cups here in the reverse position, let me show you. All right, so there's um, definitely an imbalance here. I'm, I'm, there's some codependencies here that need to be healed. All right, I'm hearing face the mirror. Thank you, Page of Swords in the upright position. Now, there's going to be some communication here, Aquarius, that's going to come through for you if it hasn't happened already. All right, this is going to be something here where you're going to be able to, to actually express these ideas or this vision that you have here um, about this situation, okay? Now, it's not going to be too much emotional. I can definitely tell you that this is straightforward communication, okay? Now, with the eight of swords in the upright position, something makes you feel restricted here or clouded in your judgment. But some reason it's just this feeling of being trapped okay like you don't have no way out of this situation all right but spirit is saying here just really face the fears okay because you'll begin to gain a clear perspective of what's happening in this situation right this is about your freedom you don't want to be restricted here or feel smothered in no way take a break if you need to okay now with the seven of swords i'm sorry the knight of swords in the upright position that's also masculine energy or it could just be energy all right someone is coming in and they're coming in I'm being very direct and very assert assertive about this, okay? And the reason being is because you guys are having some type of challenge and they're determined to succeed with that, right? Because whatever hardship that you guys have that's here, it created a loss for you and it made you, it left you disappointed for the most part, right? Now, with the page of pentacles here in this four of swords, um, in an upright position, page of pentacles in the reverse, someone was being very foolish or immature, or just running from the commitment altogether, all right? And this is why, Aquarius, you may have had to withdraw your energy from this connection or your person had to withdraw that energy from it. To so literally just take a break for a moment and just, you know, that's to heal, <laughs> you know, to recover here from whatever has taken place with this heartbreak. Now, the Hermit card is in the reverse, okay? So after that, taking this moment of doing your self-reflection, withdrawing, you know, your soul searching, all that stuff now you you get you want to get out of that energy right you start to shift your energy and you're like okay i don't want to isolate anymore i'm tired of being anti-social now it's time for me to return let me surface okay so now you're surfacing you return into society you may even have reconciled with someone um that you took the break from right because of conflict all right so now that you've done that, you decided to jump back out there. It's like, all right, I'm, I'm going, I'm getting out there, right? I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and accept this, okay? You're still feeling hopeless right now with this uh, star card in the reverse because there's conflict. It's a lot of conflict um, where before you guys had definitely, 
decided to call it a truce and communicate with each other and cooperate and all that other good stuff. Mm -mm. Now you're contemplating. You're back to this, feeling disconnected, okay? And on top of that, with this Queen of Pentacles in an upright position, Aquarius, if that's you, or if this is your person, it's just energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine person. But um, you're feeling really good, okay? And you're, you offer stability, like even down to your money, you're good, okay? The Queen of Pentacles sits on her throne, like, I'm good, I'm confident, okay? <laughs> I'm caring. I'm generous. I'm a homebody. I do, I do my due diligence when it comes to this connection. Okay. So you've been offering stability or some type of abundance here um, to this person. And for the most part, they may be selfish. All right. That could be it. They may be selfish or jealous in some kind of way here. We'll see. Okay. Look, coming in, King of Pentacles in the reverse, Knight of Wands in the upright position. So. Not only do they do, do things for their personal gain, King of Pentacles in a reverse, is greed. So some type of materialism or some type of greed, okay? Um, greedy energy is what I'm picking up. And that's where the codependencies um, stood out heavily for me with this reading. All right, now, not only are they the King of Pentacles in a the reverse, they are also the Knight of Wands in the upright position. They're eager to get things done, but they lack commitment, okay? They'd be very straightforward, Okay, but you know, they take too many risks. All right, so with the moon card here, it's some illusions that are there. And you may feel like you're in the dark or uncertain about something here. But trust your intuition, okay? Because spirit is giving you some downloads. Okay, look at this, the sun. So you got the sun next to the moon, y'all. Check this out, the sun next to the moon. It may feel like you're in the dark place now, but guess what? It's the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's what I'm picking up. You may feel like you're drowning or you're in this dark place. But guess what? Joy and peace is coming to you. Okay. In the morning, the sun rises. <laughs> you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, you know, analogy or whatever I can use. Just, you know what I'm trying to say here. The sun is the brightest card in the deck. It's the happiest card in the deck. And look at her. It's like, oh, I'm finally free. Okay. Stay optimistic about what's happening here in your life because... Um, positivity is what is most attractive here, okay? And there's so much joy and happiness that is coming to you, Aquarius, all right? This is almost like the universe saying, okay, everything you've been through, bam. Now here's your reward. Here's the here's the uh, results for all of the hard work you put in. Thank you. This situation was keeping you blocked in your happiness for a long time. Is what I'm feeling. A long time. Thank you. Anything else a craze needs to know? <laughs> Outcome. What to expect. So the magician is in the reverse. With the magician card in the reverse position, it's definitely some type of manipulation going on. All right. Some trickery, some somebody trying to be kind of just put it that way, okay? About their um mm, masculine energy. Someone's trying to be coming here, be a very um everything may not seem like it, it is. That's all I'm that's that's what it is. Everything may not seem like it really is here. There's some type of deceit going on, or it could just be low confidence. So they may be acting like they're really contemplating and thinking about this. They're trying to use their intuition. They, you know, just really sitting up here like, okay, what am I supposed to do? How can I offer something deep and reward? So they may be appearing to be that way, appearing to be diplomatic or balanced, but in reality, they're anxious and they're overwhelmed. They may be trying to appear like they're self-sufficient, that they're confident, okay, and that they are balanced spiritually and materially, but that is them being manipulative, okay? This was in the reverse, y'all, all right? So that there's definitely some type of deception here with that. So watch out, okay, because that, that may not be the case here, all right? So, um, wow, okay, uh, if you want to know exactly because... What this is about, if you're feeling like this story is resonating, definitely book a personal reading. What is it that Aquarius needs to know in regards to this? This situation, this person. Wow. So, 
let me re let me shuffle these again okay these are the same cards that jumped out from another reading <laughs> same exact four i mean the energy could be the same because that does happen um across the board um a lot of different signs are um definitely on the same timeline in aquarius you may even have a moon sign in those signs that those cards came out in and i think the uh, cards came out for my twin friend reading so that was still like a collective reading too so thank you what is it that you want Aquarius to know I'm telling you Aquarius there's so many cards that want to come out for you look at this twin flame <laughs> it's funny that I said that right <laughs> I was like it came out for my twin flame reading read the twin flame I mean listen ugh, watch the twin flame reading that I posted it's uploading now um it may be even up now not sure because i'm recording now but for the most part here um yeah this is about duality um with the twin flames you know you guys marry each other and you do have a soul purpose here it's like you have this um mission for the most part to fulfill a contract that you two have made <laughs> literally before birth and you're supposed to help humanity you're supposed to bring your gifts together and of course with the masculine energy of the twins they're always running they're always manipulative and they got karmic situations it is like what it is right the divine feminine is normally the one who's already reached their divinity that's already awoke um has already awakened okay to the connection but the masculine usually takes some time all right but the masculine is a reflection of you all right so whatever you're mirroring they're going to mirror or project back to you whatever you need to heal within yourself they're going to also possess those same um things as well okay so if you're dealing with some stuff from the past from childhood um it's going to end up coming up in them as well right that may be something that they need to heal too but if you're feeling triggered in any way by this person you know your higher self is pretty much saying look you need to uh, focus on you and you need to heal this aspect of yourself. And when you focus on yourself, Aquarius, all right, and you put that energy back into yourself and you do the healing work that you need to do, you continue to follow your life purpose and you continue to just keep putting back into you, okay, because this is the key to the twin flame journey, right? It's a soul mission. And it's about your evolution, all right, at the end of the day. So whatever you do for you, your twin is going to end up mirroring that energy and leveling up and rising up to meet you where you need to be. So keep pushing, all right? Your agenda is a self-mission right now, okay? But it's about oneness. So let's just put it that way. And this is where the Paradise card comes in. And it's basically saying here, um, the happiness, the expansion, the joy you want it it really takes for you to become one with your own soul become one with yourself find your happiness within yourself you continue to expand and grow for you okay keep your joy stay in a light-hearted energy that playful energy here um and basically keep your vibrations high right because you need to be a vibrational match with the person i mean um shoot with whatever you desire for yourself here whether it's in this connection or whether it's in other connections but for the most part you need to align with what it is you desire um for yourself all right because that's where the manifestation comes in that and that's where the universe literally comes in and co-creates with you to develop that vision okay now is there anything else that aquarius needs to know in regards to this i'm gonna give y'all a um angel and ancestor message okay so boat card came here it's very to saying you're going to receive exactly what it is that you need okay so you're progressing or either something is coming your way someone is either going to be um arriving okay and they may be coming to you um having to travel by water right or on a boat or coming from a distance doesn't have to be okay but the boat car just basically represents um progression and arriving at a destination okay thank you what is it that you want aquarius to know you be the great teacher, okay? Because you have this wisdom. You have the answers within you. You take all the lessons that you've gained and you've learned over your lifetime and even including this situation and you use those um, to uh, to grow, okay? I'm also hearing grow within your situation.
sorry y'all i just received some amazing news just now and it did it stopped me in my track y'all so you know what something amazing may come to you guys you may hear some amazing news um that may come to you or something sudden okay um that you're gonna get something sudden out of the blue will come to you okay let's see wow okay alignment it's all about alignment i take that as confirmation y'all that something wonderful is getting ready to happen for you look the moon take note of intuitive messages all right because you're getting look at this the sun that's what i'm telling you aquarius something wonderful is getting ready to happen for you that's two times the sun came out you may have been going through the dark but what spirit is saying is that let me tell you something honey you at the light at the end of the tunnel the sun is going to rise again okay it does it every single day it rises and it sets okay <laughs> great reading that curry aquarius i definitely i ain't even aquarius i don't even got it nowhere in my chart i probably do because we got all the signs in our chart i just don't know where all the placements are but for the most part in my main signs yeah they're not there but this y'all i feel super excited i went from feeling shaky and almost like emotional to Oh my God, like, it's really getting ready to happen. This is really getting ready to happen. I don't know what it is here that you're trying to manifest, but honey, you're doing it, okay? Yo, hit the like, subscribe, and share. You got to do that, all right? Because it started off rocky, okay, for you. But guess what? You got some major stuff in store for you. As I just blessed you, bless me back. All I'm asking for is the like button or subscribe, all right? Peace. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.